We are back on Kababayan today, and uh, I'm so happy that Terry is joining us from Gabriela, Los Angeles. Terry, thank you for being here once again. We know that there's this Kamayan um, in event that is happening, and we want to invite everybody to be a part of that to support Gabriela, Los Angeles, as the Congress um, happens in March. But uh, event aside, I just wanted to take this opportunity to speak to an empowered Filipina such as yourself because I would like to think I am, I mean, I'm, I'm a feminist, I always have been, and um, to really understand the implications of being a Filipina American, I want the audience to understand is there, um, what are the outcomes of all the organizing that Gabriella has done? Can you share it with our Kababayans? Like, is there change? Can we create a ripple in the Philippines from here in America? Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely there are ripples. You know, we can definitely create change by working together collectively. Um, you know, we were just talking about EDCA and uh, the fact that more U.S. military troops are going to be going to the Philippines. You know, from the time that I have been in Gabriela and um, part of a bigger movement, you know, we were able to, because of our organizing, we were able to decrease the U.S. military aid that ha um, is being given to the Philippines. And it was cut down by several millions of dollars because of the ongoing organizing that we've done. You know, we could see... Um, we can see the the power of the mass movement um, when back in 1991 when they shut down the the U.S. military bases back then. You know, so it really shows that when you join an organization like Gabriella, we can really achieve concrete gains and concrete changes. And we really want to invite people to you know to join us to learn about what it means to be an empowered Filipina. You know, what it means to be part of a bigger movement and to really fight for something that's you know, beyond us. You know, more meaningful and create. Um, um, ch positive change, you know, um, be part of a movement that's fighting for genuine liberation. Okay, so um, there's this terminology that Filipinos use, and it's called activista. When people call you an activista, what what does that mean to you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think it's a little bit of a loaded term. Mm -hmm. um, I, when I first got involved, I wouldn't have necessarily called myself an activista, <laughs> but it, I, I became involved because I saw issues that were affecting women that looked just like me, you know, who could have been my sisters or, you know, um, fathers and mothers who could have been my own. And I got involved because I, I wanted, I cared about those issues and I wanted to do something about it. And I didn't want to see continuing generations of, of people of my Kababayan that are experiencing poverty. So, um, you know, I educated myself, I joined or, an organization, mm -hmm. and, you know, and then I learned about the root causes of what causes our um, oppression and exploitation. I learned about, you know, U.S. military presence and unequal agreements like EDCA. So if that means that I'm an activista, <laughs> then I'm okay with that if it means that I'm part of an organization that works for good. Okay. Well, um, everybody uh, today is talking about this whole Miss Universe, um, you know, because Miss Universe is also Miss Philippines, Pia Wurzbach. And it's interesting to me, she was asked in her question and answer portion, and I, I'm not sure if you're aware, about how she feels about military presence. Were you able to see it? Yes, I was. I was, you know, first, we, I think Gabriella congratulates her on, on winning the title of Miss Universe. It's definitely prestigious and, you know, um, but we also want uh, to invite her to learn more about the history of the unequal relations between the Philippines and the U.S. and a history that's filled with um, a lot of human rights abuses, you know, that are um, funded by U.S. tax dollars. And it might be that um, she may not be familiar with that history. So um, we hope that she would, you know, be in dialogue with Gabriella and other people's organizations to learn more uh, of that side of history that yeah. is often not talked about. Well, um, I had the opportunity to talk to her, and I asked her mm -hmm. about this because I said that, you know, there are a lot of organizations that are um, not happy, basically, with your answer for Miss Universe and what can you say. And she said something very interesting. She said that military presence is different from military occupation. So I was like, aha. Uh -huh. And she's like, well, you know, um, there has to be a, a good side to everything, too. And I choose to look at it from that, that point of view. So I was like, wow, how PC are Miss Universe? That's why she's Miss Universe, you know, because she's able to be very composed and sort of um, 
be very PC on her answers, right? But of course, you know, um, she is bringing light to the Philippines, and I do hope that uh, one of our sisters from Gabriella will be able to uh, get an opportunity to share more with her. But uh, Terry, thank you so much for being thank here you. once again. I'm going to try to make it to the Kamayan event. Thank you. It yes, sounds we, like we a love to have you. <laughs> yeah, wonderful opportunity. And not only that, for 20 bucks, how can you go wrong? You'll be with community. There's going to be a fun event. And, uh, you know, it's our food. <laughs> right? <laughs> yes, yes. Come have um, delicious Filipino food. It'll be cooked with love by our members and other community members. So. Okay, and then also for the people that are interested to be part of a movement that's bigger than just yourself, right? Can you give us details on how to be part of Gabriella LA? Uh, well, you know, if people are not able to come the, to the Kamayan, they can always um, check out our Facebook and contact us there or go on our website. Again, it's gabriellalosangeles.wordpress.com. And, uh, you know, they can contact us there and we'd love to invite them to an informational session where they can learn more about our organization. Okay, all right, so uh, let's take a look at the poster just so that you can see all the details for yourself. And uh, I want to say once again, thank you, Terry, for being here. Uh, I hope that come Women's Month, which is just around the corner, we can talk about real issues that affect us Filipina Americans all over the world. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, and thank you for joining us today here on Kababayan. Today, I'm Gitanji. Salamat po.